Next thing is, whatever you decide to mount on, and I'm going to try this. Um, we need to set it up for our switch. So see that little hole? It's convenient. I'm going to see if it's big enough. I don't think so. So I might have to drill it out. That's that little... Uh, it's a single pole, double throw, sub mini slide switch. You can use what you want. I wanted something small that was kind of black. Didn't want a big switch. All right, so 5 16ths is enough to give that plenty of throw. So I'm going to use a 5 16ths. This is going to go here. That goes on top. Bulb fits in there nice. So we got everything all ready for wiring is the next step. Alright, cut a piece of... Um, I, I like to use a different color wire than my positive or negative leads. So I'm going to use green. Let's go down through the tube. And we're going to pick up from the bulb. Basically the bulb is going to pick up on the top the high voltage coil. We're going to come off the other side, down the tube. So we are going to we're going to glue this little switch in right now. It sets up pretty fast. I'll put a couple spots here. It's just a little cardboard platform. We're going to mount our uh, circuit. Okay, so now we're ready to put this on. Remember where the hole is closest to the bottom? That's our start. We're going to run that wire through. We're going to make sure it's square. It's a little T square standing up straight and with our glue gun we'll go ahead and put that on. This kind of wire, it's not hard. Just um, it's burn about a half inch, the lighter. And you can just sandpaper that off. Okay, so I've got that wire cleaned off. We're going to feed those through the bottom of the old socket. Take this, take take both of these these wires, straighten them out, twist them together, and then we will hook them onto that, okay? Alright, I've gone ahead and twisted those wires and then snapped that back on. And right now it's just it's loose on there. I could I could use the glue gun and tack it on. Maybe I'll just put a spot on it for now. But we're ready to do the circuit now. All right, so here is um, the negative coming in from the cord. So this red wire is coming from our bulb. It's coming back here to join with the negative to the emitter. So this fine wire is coming from the bottom of our secondary. And that's going to go to the base and across there. We're going to put one of these. This wire is the bottom of our primary. And it's going to go to the collector. So now I want to show you with this little part here, the socket, I want to show what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bend over all the Okay, what I've done is I've bent those tabs over flat and I kind of splayed them out a bit. It's going to make it easier to um, solder to. So this is the diode and I've bent it just so it'll it'll fit in a little better. You want to keep your leads as short as possible with diodes and transistors. You can see the um, little black mark. That's going to face the base of the transistor. 
and I've marked the cardboard in there where we want to um, always hook up our transistor emitter base collector first thing I'm going to do is trim this a little bit I don't want these too long and then I'm going to tin them that just means putting a little bit of solder on them so they're ready to go they're a high voltage to the diode those are primary wire going to the collector and if you get those tinned usually it's pretty easy to get them on. I'm going to kind of bend it so it goes over there nice Notice I have it a little bit of an angle away from the base. It's a little insurance that we don't short out. This is a two-hand job here. Now the next thing we need to do we're going to go ahead and um, start getting the uh, primary on here. I've got a lead coming out, another lead coming out. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to use 26 turns of bell wire because I've done some experimenting. It looks like 26 is, is a pretty good number to start with. And we'll get it going and then we can adjust from there. So I've got this um I got this black bell wire. I'm gonna try that. So you want to go opposite from the way you wound the um, secondary. So when we're all loosen this up. So I'm gonna put you it's easier. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nice and tight. Now I'm actually going to let it just jump up. I've actually been getting pretty good results, about a 100 milliamp draw when the coil is uh, about halfway down and kind of loose. So, I mean, I, the reason um, I can't tell you conclusively where to put this is I haven't, I haven't quite honed in on it, but this is about a 100 milliamp draw at 6 volts and it's about a uh, quarter bright on the bulb, maybe half bright. So the next step is to put that transistor in. So we're going to put the transistor there. You just plug it in. You can just fold it over. So the next thing is we will um, start it on low voltage. So we'll use 6 volts and to see if we can get it to light. See what see what happens. 